All right, what's up gang? In this video, we're gonna talk about something that's really confusing uh, about West Coast Swing, especially as a beginner, and that's that it's inherently off phrase. And we're gonna talk about what that means, but Megan has a story to share about a student of ours that we just had recently. So tell us a quick story. Yeah, so I had a musician as a student and he was trying to learn West Coast Swing. And when I taught him six count patterns to eight count music, it blew his mind and he moved on to a different dance. So, and we had this discussion off camera. I said, you know, what was the solution? How did you fix it? And he moved on to a different dance. So let's talk about what is, uh, what inherently off phrase means. So if we dance, what dance did he move on to? Uh, rumba, rumba, cha cha, any of them. So if we dance rumba, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight beats for our basic box. If we dance cha-cha, we have one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and starts again on one, right? If I dance salsa, we have one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. So when you get an eight, uh, when you get eight beats of music, your basic is eight beats. But now we walk into a West Coast Swing class and we typically learn a six count pattern first. Let's say it's the sugar push push break. We go one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And then we have to start again on the seven, eight. So let's look at this on the whiteboard from a different topic. And then we're gonna give you a couple of different ways to think about it that will hopefully connect the dots and improve your West Coast Swing. So when I was on the way to the studio this morning to shoot this video, my friend said, you're gonna go shoot your silly YouTube videos. And I said, we're changing lives through dance with easy to follow videos so you can develop confidence and look good on the dance floor. And this is gonna change your life if you're struggling with how these beats fit together. So up top, we have our eight beats of music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where kind of music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you count along the music. We're gonna share a video of how to count music if that's a struggle and some other resources later. But Roll with me. So this is our, our uh, six count pattern. So like our side passes or our sugar push. And we'd count that one, two, three, and four, five, and six. But then what do we do with the seven, eight? So we're gonna share a strategy to help you think about this. And Megan and I are gonna show you exactly how to do it to count it in two beat segments. So now our sugar push would sound like this. One, two, one, and two, one, and two. And we'd start again with one, two. So we're gonna talk through that with Megan with some uh, patterns to make it practical. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share a couple of other musicality videos. So whether you're struggling with counting the music or uh, staying on time, or you wanna level up your musicality and connect your patterns to the music, I'm gonna share some resources both with Megan here in this video and then after the video that will help you level up your game and change your life so you can develop confidence and look great on the dance floor. All right, gang, we've got two ways for you guys to think about this. And we're gonna use, we're just gonna use a sugar push as our workspace, right? Some, something simple. So if we count our sugar push, right, the problem we have is we go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and then we have to walk seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four. And that's a, a term called counting straight eights. And if you're more advanced, we're gonna reference that at the end, but let's go back to the two-bit increments. So there's two different ways to think about this. I'm gonna share one, Megan's gonna share one. So I'm gonna count in two-bit increments. One, two, one, and two, one, and two. One, two, one, and two, one, and two. And that's gonna work with all of our patterns, even our eight-count patterns. One two, one, and two, one, two, one, and two, right? So if you're a beginner, that could be very helpful, just feeling those two-bit increments. Megan's got another way that she uses with her students, pretty simple stuff. I use walks and triples. So we have walk, walk, triple step, triple step, walk, walk, triple step, triple step, walk, walk, triple step, walk, walk, triple step. So if you're struggling with the fact that this is inherently off phrase and it doesn't match the music, it doesn't. And the reality is, is that you're going to start the walk, walk on a pattern. In beginner class, it sounds like this. We go five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And then the teacher will typically just keep counting the pattern. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. But if you're in tune to the music, you're gonna realize that the music does what? It keeps going to five, six, seven, eight. 
So in the next three videos, we have three videos on number one, how to count the music, right? So if you're struggling with that, we're gonna link that playlist up right around us here in the description below. The second video is gonna talk about the critical timing and that's gonna be two, four, six, and eight and why it's important in patterns. And the third video, we're gonna reference this quickly here just to kind of whet your appetite, is counting straight eights. And if you're really wanting to level up and connect your patterns to music, the fact that this is off phrase actually produces some uh, really cool opportunities to connect your patterns to the music. So real quick, and we cover this in the last video, but counting straight eights would look like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four. So, all right, gang, so the next three videos in the series are right here down below me. Um, how to count the music, critical timing, and the key to musicality. Speaking about musicality, we have the ultimate guide to musicality. So the ultimate guide to musicality is a 17 video course, step-by-step -step, walking you through from how to count the music all the way down to how to connect your music, your patterns to the music like a pro, and you can get that right up in this corner.